Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, and welcome back once again to another Paladins video. Today we're doing a video that you guys have been asking me to do for a little while, and that's because Dammit can be a little bit hard to play sometimes, and some of you guys have been asking for a way to play him that makes him a little bit easier to do, so we're doing Failsafe Dammit today. And just in case you, you don't know what that is, I'll go ahead and explain it now real quick before we jump into actual game. So the loadout is very similar to the standard one I use for Dammit, except you have the card that reduces your cooldown if you actually miss it, and I've leveled this to the max, which is probably a little bit overkill, but this is the easiest easiest way I'd say you can play damage. You get 20% damage reduction whenever you hit someone with your right click, which is pretty much permanently because it's only got like a three second cooldown and I'm pretty sure it heals for, for five seconds. Yeah, so you're, you're pretty much always going to have that 20% damage reduction with this loadout. As long as you have a teammate near you, obviously. Eerie Presence, and this is the most important card here, is reducing the cooldown of our right click by two and a half seconds when you miss. This basically means you can just spam your right click. If you don't have a legendary card that deals damage, it's really hard to mess this up because you can really only heal with your right click. So you just keep spamming it because it's got half a second cooldown, which is basically basically zero and I'm also pretty sure this is affected by Kronos so once you have Kronos level one or two it is really really close to zero seconds cooldown when you miss. We've also got another card in here that I've started to use a little bit more in my usual loadout for Damra as well which is Swift Spirits which makes our right also grant 21% movement speed. This basically means we always have damage reduction and we're always buff buffing somebody's movement whenever we are, we, we are using our right click. These two are just filler cards that are kind of nice. I'd usually have these a little bit more leveled and maybe pull this one down a bit because you don't really need this at two and a half seconds. You can really get away with having it at like one and a half and two and you still won't really feel when you miss, but having it at default actually kind of sucks. If you miss a lot of heals with Damba, you're, you're kind of a little bit useless to your team, and if you mix this with Mending Spirits, healing for an extra 300 up front, this becomes quite strong. But if you're playing Damba and you're missing your right click all the time, you're not really healing for anything other than your Q, which doesn't heal for a ridiculous amount. He's got a decent selection of legendary cards if you want to play him damage-wise. We've done a video on Wakono's Wrath, we've done a video on Wakono's Curse, which isn't as strong as I'd like it to be. It's still good, and it can still actually output a pretty decent amount of damage. It does also work with this loadout, obviously, but that's not what we were going for today. I'm going to go for Spirits Chosen and Rapined Gourd or Rippened Gourd. I'm not sure how you'd say that. I think it's Rapined. Um, slowing 40% is only really useful in scenarios where you really need to slow people, which isn't that often. And if I look at the Mastery Awards, you actually start with the best Legendary. I say best in between commas because it's like the best one for people who are new to Damba. So if you're new to Damba, I would actually highly recommend you pick the default Legendary card. You don't worry about trying to get these and you actually use a loadout kind of similar to this and then you'll actually probably do quite well because it's way better than this loadout. If you're starting out on Damber and you're using this, you're going to have a really, really bad time. These two cards are okay, but you're, you're really going to be better off using this instead of one that buffs your F this much. So we're doing Deathmatch or Onslaught as our first game. Let me just actually make sure I get Damber here. We're playing Onslaught, Magistrate's Archives, which is a pretty decent map for him. If we have a Genos, that means they're going to get a ton of Cauterize, which will kind of suck. Maybe I should go for the Damage Legendary card instead of the Healing one. We'll have to wait and see. But a little update on my ranks. So I've actually had enough time recently to play my ranked games and actually get up to Masters. So we're back into Masters again. Obviously not grandmasters because I don't have all day to sit here and play paladins to get into GM but we are masters again which is where I'm happy being. Sadly you don't get the borders anymore over here but I'm masters and I thought I'd just point it out because it took me a good little while. I placed in I think diamond 5 or gold maybe. I can't even remember where I placed or platinum. I didn't place gold. I think I placed platinum then got up to diamond 5 then went from diamond 5 straight to diamond 2 then diamond 1 then masters. We've got a sky, Khan, Andra, Willow. We are a solo healer which is probably a little bit better for us and we're going up against another sky a Grover as their only healer, a Lex as their flank, a Tyra as their damage, and an Ash as their frontline. Khan versus Ash. Ah, Khan should win that. Sky v Sky, Andro v Lex, Willow v Tyra, and Grover versus me. It looks like we should win this. Looking at the team composition, if our Willow and Andro are good, we should have this in the bag. I'm going to go for Spirits Chosen. I could go for Wakono's Curse. Maybe I should. I don't know. That would help me really do deal with the Sky. I don't know what to do. Wakono's Chosen. Spirit we'll go for Spirits Chosen, and we'll go for this one, because this is what you'd be picking if you just started playing Damba. Also, his inspects are really cool. I don't think I've ever shown that in a video, but he has one of my favorite inspects in the game. It looks so freaking slick. It's all like the Moji one, except you see the snake and then he does like a little spiral and comes back into your hand. That's cool. Let's get Kronos and I'll show you how fast the actual spam is on this if you miss. Like, look at how easy this is to land a heal. God damn. This is fail safe damn, but that's what we're going for today. I'm going to stick with my Khan because that's obviously what I want to do if I'm healing people. There we go. Let's just stay on him. Hopefully I can do an okay job. We can still deal damage, but we're definitely not going to be top damage with this loader. That's for sure. There's a heal for you. I'll try and miss a little bit so that I can also demonstrate what this is realistically going to be like. I don't know why I just tried to use my heal aggressively there, but she's dead. This freaking 
Ash is nearly gone as well. Let's land a heal on you. I missed. There we go. Pretty easy to recover stuff. What if you're actually missing a decent amount? It probably isn't too hard to get back into the flow of stuff. There's a heal for you. He has got extra heals? What's he gone for? Why is he receiving extra healing? Oh, wow. He's actually got the card that increases his healing by 24%. I haven't seen a Khan pick that before, so that's interesting. There's some more heals. As long as we get more heals in the Grover, I'll be happy if we're being honest. Let's use our Q aggressively. Put a heal on him. Don't know why the Ash is going in so hard right now. This is probably a bad idea. Thank you, Khan, for the heals. Appreciate it, my good sir. This Ash is going to die any second now. As long as our Khan plays a little bit aggressively, we should have this. Hello, Lex. Don't know why our Ash decided to push me into you, but there we go. Am I dead? There's a heal. There's a Q on the floor. Throw some shit backwards. I'm dead. Only downside to picking this healing legendary and the loadout we've got is we don't really have that much room for dealing damage. We don't have the extra 500 on our snake toss, and we also don't have the damage on our right click. They've only got like a couple quarterized tier twos right now, so we're doing quite well on the healing side of things. Where is their sky at? She's back there playing defensively. There's a heal for the willow. Can I get one on you, please? I just need to keep spamming it until I eventually land it because she's flying around all the place. There's a mist heal for you because she died. There's a sky ult for some reason. Bit of a strange play, and I died to that Lex ult. I really died to that. I thought I was like full health. Hold on, wait a sec. Oh, I was quite a bit lower than I thought I was. I thought I was higher than that, my bad. I could have easily dodged that Lex ult, but I thought I had more health to the point where he wasn't going to kill me with it. That's a shame. There's our Sky ult. Didn't kill anybody. There's an Ash ult. Khan actually pulled her out of it. That's quite a spicy play. Don't know why he's bothering to even throw her off. I can kill her like that. That's the better way to use Khan ult, actually. Didn't point it out in my Khan video, but I've seen a lot of people use it where they just hold him and wait for the team to kill the person he's holding, and that works quite well. So if you play a lot of Khan, that's a, a tactic worth trying out. There's a heal for the team. Let's get rid of this Lex. Anybody want to deal some damage? We don't really have that much damage output right now. And I'm missing quite a bit, which doesn't help. Uh, let's chuck that down there. There's a heal for you. Yo, Lex, what's popping, my good sir? There's the Grover ult. Let's chuck that out. Sunday Wakona, whatever he says, down. Oh, my God. Am I going to die here? Am I dead? Let's use our F to get away here. That Grover's still on me. Like I said, right before this round started, it was going to depend on how our damage characters played. Because right now, tanking and healing we've got in the bag. Our Khan's nearly permanently up, and I'm also doing a pretty good job of healing, I'd like to think. But we don't really have enough damage output to win this because we're not killing them enough. Let's throw another thing over there, get another heal on him. Yeah, I feel like I'm healing for enough. I don't feel like I'm doing a bad job on that side of things. I just feel like we don't have enough damage output, really. We're all grouped up now, though, so this should be good. Can we push the objective? There's a heal on you. He's instantly dead. God damn, they're both gone. Hello, Grover. There's the entire enemy team. Tried to hit F, but I think I was rooted by Grover, so I couldn't get away there. We're like a hundred and something points behind right now. Hello, Ash. What's popping? Don't know how you expect to get away there. That was a very strange play, if I do say so myself. I kind of like this loadout for the fact that it's really, really easy. Usually, I have to concentrate quite a bit when I play Damber, but this way I can just not think anywhere near as much and just focus on trying to heal people as well as, you know, not have to worry about even that because I can't really miss that easily. I'm just going to walk away from this. Thank you. That was very easy to dodge. There's a heal on you. Don't know why Sky thought that wouldn't be avoided there. Bit of a strange play from her. I can't see where my team is. This is like the chillest and easiest way to play Damber, but sadly we're not really pulling through with the win. I should have got killed to heal earlier for sure, but they have got a bit of cauterized now, so I'm not healing for as much. Let's get this Khan all healed up. I'm missing my stuff, but I'm just spamming it. There we go. Finally got him. That's the weirdest thing with Damba playing like this. I don't have to worry about landing my rock. I can just keep hitting it until it eventually touches somebody. But they have got three tier three quarter eyes right now, so I'm, I'm kind of feeling that a little bit. And I'm definitely not healing for anywhere near as much as I was at the start of this game. Do I use an ult? There we go. That's two of them. Did we counter that Lex ult? I wonder if that actually puts it on cooldown. I'm not sure if we just countered that Lex or not. Sky, can you kill these people, please? I'm going to die any second now. Sky, anybody? Anybody? I'm just trying to jump around now and heal. I did an okay job. I wonder if that Lex ult went on cooldown. I guess I'll find out in a second. I think maybe it puts it at like 50%. I'm not sure, but we killed him before he actually detonated anything. There's a heal. There's a heal. We're only healing for like seven a tick because of the quarter eyes. God damn. That Tyra Q hurts. There we go. She's gone. It's the second time he's pulled that ash on like no health. I think she was about to ult again though. I think I heard the ash ult sound but I may be wrong. They are winning this game very heavily. Let's just land a hit on her. More heals for people. This isn't too hard to play. Like I'm having a really easy time here landing heals. I don't really feel like it's me or the Khan's fault. There we go. That stun was pretty spicy. He was on a decent streak as well. Should we go out for that Lex? He has his ult again so I guess it didn't go on full cooldown. There's a heal for you again. There's a Q. There's another right click for him. We're keeping our team alive quite well. Our Khan's doing a good job of tanking. I'd give him that but I'd feel like our Willow and our Andro and our Sky really aren't like killing the enemy team enough right now. There's a heal for you. So I put I put this down to our flankers and our damage because I don't feel like they're doing a great job, but they're still doing okay. They're just not killing them enough. There's a heal for you. He's dead because of the quarter eyes. God damn it. He's just my heals are just like completely countered by the fact that they've got quarter eyes tier three. Like three of them have it and it really freaking sucks. Another heal on him. Here we go. We're keeping him alive. Like our Khan is healing for a ton because he's got the card that increases his healing below his certain health range, but he's still taking a bit of a battering. There's another 
Admiral. There we go. I'm using my ult a decent amount in this game, and I usually don't. There's my F. He's freaking dead. He got absolutely mauled there. I'm just trying to heal this Khan up, really, because he's the only person playing the objective. He's not doing great damage. That's not really his job, if I'm being honest. It's the rest of the team. There's some more heals for him. Let's go over here so we can keep him healed up. There he goes. Another one. My god, the cauterize is so annoying. This is a very bad case for us right now, trying to play some Damba with three cauterized tier threes. Usually, people don't feel the need to get that much cauterize for a single Damba, but today they did, so we didn't heal for all that much. If I have more heals in the Grover, I'll be surprised because I don't think we had that much cauterize there. Lex. Got top play. I'm honestly not sure what this is because I don't think the Lex had a... I don't remember the Lex having a ridiculously great play this match. I guess he assisted on that one, but not really. Is this the ult where I died? This, I think this is the ult where I died here. I'm pretty sure this is. I really didn't think I was low enough health. And I actually, if I didn't jump there, I probably would have lived. That's a shame. That doesn't deserve to be top play if you ask me. So... We actually had a decent amount of gold stuff there. 80,000 healing isn't that bad. I'm, I'm actually quite happy with that. We didn't do great. We did okay, though. And it actually looks like we out-healed the Grover. I wonder how much we out-healed him by. I'm trying to find out. Let's see. We out-healed him by <laughs> 1,000. Less than 1,000. Fantastic. That surprisingly makes the victory oh so much sweeter. The fact that we out-healed him by like 1,000. He had more damage than this, so technically he did a better job that game. But we still had more healing by like 700. How much cauterized did we have? We had one tier 3 and one tier two yeah and we still out healed him considering they had like three tier threes and a tier two as well I'm, I'm quite happy with that if we're being honest willow had 74k she did actually quite well on the damage she had top damage that game well played to her our andro and our sky were definitely the reasons we lost that they did not keep up with the flanking there seven kills each and two assists on the andro and four assists on the sky i definitely feel like that was the reason we lost that one i kind of wanted this to be a video to give you guys some tips and some hints and stuff on how to play damage for those of you guys that haven't given him a go yet but i don't feel like i've done, really done that much of a a good job with it. That first game was really, really rough. I did pretty much potato damage and I healed for a lot because then I had a lot of cauterize. If they didn't have cauterize, we probably would have had like 100k, 120k plus in that match if they didn't have all that cauterize because my my heals were countered quite a bit. And if you're playing Siege in the long run, this is definitely going to benefit you. But for damage, this obviously isn't what you want to go for. But I wouldn't recommend damage damage until you played him for a bit anyway. All right, let's do let's do game two. I really want this one to go better because that first game was pretty rough. We didn't lose by that much and I did have best healing, but I don't really feel like I did Damber justice. I have way more better games with the Damber than the one that I just showed you guys. So let's pick support. Let's not get Pip because that's not who I wanted to play. Let's get Damber. We've got a Charlene who we combo quite well with because our movement speed buff does help him quite a bit as well as me who's level 138. That's pretty damn high if I do say so myself. We're doing Onslaught's Foreman's Rise. Pretty good map for Damber so we should be okay here. Going up against a Nando, a Genos, a Strix, a Terminus and a Sky. Two frontliners. And Ara should be able to actually hold up not too badly, so we might still stand a chance. Nando or Term are a pretty good pair, especially considering they have a Genos as well. That's the thing that I really hate going against, especially in Onslaught and just in general. Luckily, Sky isn't playing a damage character, but if you have a Strix, someone to snipe. You have a Genos who can easily heal two tanks on his own because of the way Genos works. And then Nando and Term, who are two tanks that work really, really well together, it really sucks because Genos is permanently healing both of them, and then you've got Strix at the back permanently headshotting people. This is going to be really tough. Hopefully we can still pull through with a win. We've got Spirits Chosen. Going to go ahead and do the same thing we did last time. Obviously, Meave, if she can keep flanking our Strix, and she's a high level, so I'm hoping she will. That'll make us win this game because they don't really have other sources of damage other than the Strix and the Sky, and Sky's kind of easy to deal with. Charlin should also counter Sky kind of nicely, as well as Genos if he keeps heavy shots landing on them. Uh, Pip does a pretty good job countering some of them, and Anara does a pretty good job holding up against two tanks, especially considering she has abilities that increase her healing a ton. This might actually not be too bad. Meave's already gone for Illuminate, obviously, and saying we're going up against a Sky and a Strix. I should probably go for it too. I'll get Illuminate and maybe something else later on. I'll start with just Illuminate. I'm, I'm glad to see Charlene has two because this way we can counter the Strix and the Sky quite a bit because even Tier 1 Illuminate really makes their invis a lot weaker and Sky specifically gets completely denied by a lot of Illuminate, so hopefully we can hold up. There's the Gord. Managed to actually bounce that back, which wasn't what I was trying to do, but that ended up actually being better than what I was going to do. Terms right-click and Nando's right-click is going to be annoying, but luckily we're on them right now. We're being super aggressive. If we keep this uh, aggressivity up for this game, then we'll have this in the bag. We managed to stun his shield down. I think our Strix just died. Not our Strix. Uh, uh, freaking Charlene. I probably should have tried to heal him, but I'm trying to focus on Anara because she's the person, obviously, that I want to keep alive the most considering she's the tank. There's more heals for you. There we go. We're doing a pretty good job. Until they get cauterized, we'll have this pretty easily because I can outheal pretty much any other damage they're going to deal. There's a stun for him. Wow, we actually managed to finish him off. Nice. Let's get rid of the Sky. Let's get a heal on her. There we go. Wow. Not a bad start. Honestly, it was expecting it to go a lot worse. Obviously, they've only got a little bit of cauterize at the start, so this is 
a very early centric build that we're going for because we can hold the early game really well with our heals and then towards the end once they have quarter eyes it falls apart a tiny bit because then we're focused more on damage than we are on healing but right now this is very very easy to hold they're having a very hard time out damaging what i'm healing my team for and let's just deal with this freaking strix you're not strix i'm calling everybody strix right now there's a heal on the pip let's chuck that down let's stun him as soon as that pops off or not there's a heal on her we're all gonna buff her movement speed too as well let's ult there we go see if we can get this freaking terminus out I think he's ulting. Maybe he's not ulting. I can't tell. I couldn't tell if I could hear the sound effect or not. That's a double kill. Is that going to be a top play? I wonder if that's going to be a top play. I hope it is. Let's chuck our Q down there. There we go. He's ulting. I'm keeping my Inara alive as well as I possibly can. Trying to heal this guy. I missed the heal there. That's a shame. I died. He effed at the worst time possible because it made me miss my heal. Let's get Kronos and kill to heal and then maybe more illuminate yeah sure that's that works i'm kind of glad that we died at the time we did because we could do with actually pop into the shop there's a heal for you can she run away in time managed to get around the corner but she didn't freaking move fast enough and she still took damage from the rest of the team let's get rid of the sky there we go we can easily fight sky on our own to be honest and with meave as well this looks like it's going to be a win we're doing quite well on the point side of things we've all got ults up other than me and anara sadly he's dead i even if i healed him there he would have died because of the quarter eyes and stuff i'm trying my best pip is also kind of nice to have as an off healer because if I miss stuff like my Q and position it badly then he can kind of give me a hand there. Let's get rid of them. Jesus Christ the damage. 400, 400. There we go. Keep it going. I am very dead right now. This one's going better and I feel like I'm doing a better demonstration of freaking Maldamba right now so I'm kind of happy that this game is going the way I wanted the other one to go mainly because of my team staying alive and stuff. There's another one on him. Luckily our Meeve's doing a great job of flanking and our Charlins are pretty good damage as well as Anara tanking a fucking ton of damage so far this game. She's done quite well. Bit being an off healer's quite nice too. There we go. More damage for them. Look at all that tick damage. God damn, there's an ult. Luckily, Terminus can't absorb that. He's got a ton of CC reduction though, so it didn't affect him for all that long. Let's chuck a Q in. I'm gonna chase him down. I'm gonna chase this term down, or maybe I should try and focus the Genos. I don't know. There's a stun on him though. There's some damage. I really don't know if I can kill him here. I'm gonna try. There we go. <laughs> Managed to actually get their Genos out. Yo, Strix, what's popping, my good sir? Can we kill the Strix as well? Flank Damba on the run. Can we kill him? Can we actually get him here? I'm hoping we can get him. Not even mad that I died. If I landed one more shot, we'd have killed that Strix, but the fact that we nearly got him on our own shows how motherfucking bad he is god damn dude nearly died to a damper on his own solo flanking him god damn this game is in the bag this is definitely a better representation of damper there's a heal for the pit mid air i managed to land it and he still died because of the tick damage can we get this this meave there we go spicy shot on her let's see if we can keep some heals going on the rest of the team looks like she's still gonna die which is a shame another heal on you there we go we can keep her alive very easily i'm trying my best to stay alive thank you pip for the heal right there very nice to have her on the team him on the team pip is a male i'm pretty sure there we go there's an anara Ult. I think the Nando just ulted too. There's a heal on you. 400 up front. Damn, that's quite strong. Let's get him gone any second. Let's get freaking heals on this Shaolin because he's quite low. There's a heal on you. There's a heal on the Meave as well any second if I can just land it. Nope, I'm missing it all the time. There we go. I actually like this loadout more than I thought I would. I was expecting this to be kind of mediocre. But it's actually surprisingly strong because we are just healing nearly 100% of the time that we're alive. We're throwing heals on people. Let's get rid of this Sky. Let's chuck another heal on you. I can just keep spamming it until I land it. It's great. This is like zero no skill Damba. That's why I would call this no skill Damba or like fail safe Damba because you can't really fuck Damba up with this. It's really hard to be a bad Damba when you have a loadout that just lets you permanently throw your right click and land it because if you miss you can just throw it again instantly. If Damba was like this by default he would easily be the most overpowered healer by a long shot. There's another heal on you. The only downside to it is you do miss out on a bit of the damage. That's the only thing I could say that sucks about this is the fact that you are losing quite a bit of the damage that you usually have with the other loadouts for him. I'm gonna chuck that down an F away. Ah well played Pip. He has so much CC reduction that he gets out of his out of that pip ult in like half a second, but we still managed to get him because we focused him all at the same time there. There's another heal for you. I'm dead. If we outheal Genos, I'll be rather surprised because Genos with the team that he's got is very, very easy to get top healer with because he's got two tanks. But if we top him or actually even come close, I'll be quite happy. There's a heal. There's a heal on him. Let's see what the loadout the Genos is actually going for. He's actually gone for the damage legendary card, so we still stand a chance of outhealing him, but I very doubt the fact that we will. We could still outheal the, the Genos. I'm hoping that we do, but I doubt that we will. Let's use our F to avoid that stun heal on you there we go should we chuck an ult down sure just to get rid of him why the hell not and actually just help us win this point quicker because they actually are quite close to our point score right now let's get rid of him any second there we go more heals on the team i'm doing pretty well this match i feel quite comfortable saying that i've done decent so far this game i don't feel like i've let my team down all that much if at all i've landed pretty consistent heals on them specifically the anara i've been on her the entire game pretty much just pocket healing her for most of this match i should probably be focusing the meave a little bit more like she just said need healing i've been trying my best to keep the anara alive that i've forgotten a little bit about the flankers i guess i should maybe 
focus on that a little bit more, but at least we're keeping the Inara alive because she's having to fight two of them. Let's use that F here. Another heal on her right before I die. There we go. So we've got Max Kill to Heal, Max Illuminate, and Max Kronos nearly. We're one two off having Max Kronos. Kill to Heal is really, really useful for Damber. I feel like that's maybe one of the reasons why we've stayed alive so much this game. Strix is on quite a beefy streak, which is kind of annoying. There's a heal on that Meave. Did we land it? I can't tell where the Meave is. I can't tell where anyone is. Luckily, I can just keep spamming my right click until it lands. I don't have to worry about landing it. There's no penalty if I miss. There we go. Well played from the Inara. Managed to keep me alive. Strix just sniped me, but that's okay. There's a heal on you. Go and be as aggressive as you possibly can, Meave. There's another movement speed buff. You go all in. She's going for the Strix. I think she wants his head. Jesus Christ, she was going for him. There we go. Nando managed to get rid of uh, Charlene, which is kind of annoying. They have got a ton of resilience, which is making our side a little bit more painful because of the fact that our CC does nothing. Terminus, you're not going to kill me. Not today, good sir. I'm going to ult and kick his ass. Here we go. Okay, our ult does nothing. <laughs> so that's a bit of a shame. Our ult does pretty much fuck all because of the fact that they've got so much resilience. Jesus Christ, let's deal some more damage. Let's chuck a Q down. Let's see if we can keep this Pip alive. I'm going to use this to get away. There's a heal on that Meave or not because I missed. I'm still alive right now somehow. There's a heal on the Pip. Okay, let's get this Meave still alive. She's still good. There we go. This has been incredibly hectic for a Damba game. Like, yes, this is the passive way to play Damba, but at the same time, I've healed for so much that I've barely had a time to breathe so far this game. Let's get rid of him. There we go. Managed to keep that Meave up. Can we get rid of this term as well? Our stun does barely anything, but at least we can distract him for a bit. Our Strix just missed. Well, their Strix just missed. She just missed a headshot on me. That skimmed my forehead. Jesus Christ. We're still alive. Charlene, go in, son. I gave you some damage and some heals. Go for it, my guy. I believe in you. This Strix is out. Yes, let's get revenge. He's gone. Get fucked, my dude. Victory. That is the right way to play Danver. I feel like I did a much better job this game. They only had two quarter eyes tier threes. And I think they had one tier one or tier two, which is a lot easier to deal, to deal with than they had before. Don't know which guy got top play. I'm guessing it's ours, I think. No, it's not because she just killed a pip. So it's their Strix got top play here. I don't know what this actually is. She kills a Charlene and a pip. And then she kills the rest of us. She killed me, but only by like one tick. I don't know why that's top play. She didn't really kill that many people. She just helped the rest of the team. Let's go ahead and check the stats. I very heavily doubt we'll outheal the Genos. I, like I said, I doubt we'd outheal him. He's there. Genos is by far the easiest healer to play in the entire game. You just hit right click. You don't even have to have any skill. Damba, in my opinion, is a hard to play Genos, if you'd ask me. If we're within like 15k, I'll take that as a win. Because they had two tanks as well. He had 90,000 healing. If we have anything above 75k i'll be happy and i'll classify that as a win on my part we had 87 we were 3k off of genos as damba genos is the easiest healer to play i don't really think there's any conversation on that part we had 15k more damage than him so does that mean we're a better healer I i'd say so we had a significant better kill to death ratio as well as you know yeah dealing like 15,000 more damage and playing the objective a shit ton more than he did we definitely deserved to win that game aaron Nara was on the point pretty much that whole match like 312 seconds that's like the entire time she must have been alive she was sitting on that point. Definitely a, a win in my books. Ah, uh, freaking Meave did a really, really good job. Aranara did a great job. Ah, uh, Sholin did pretty decent. He didn't do that well. He did pretty decent, though. Ah, uh, Pip did pretty decent as well. There, Genos did pretty well. He healed for a ton, but it's pretty hard to fuck that up as Genos, honestly. He had 30k damage, which is pretty bad for Genos, honestly, because I had 44k. He had the lowest damage, other than Terminus, who somehow had even less. I, I don't know what's going on there. There, Nando did really well. He had top damage in that whole game by, like, 14,000. Shoutouts to the Nando. No, he did a pretty good job. Their Sky did okay at 55k. Their Strix did pretty bad at 63k. He only had three deaths because he spent the whole game camping. And their Terminus had 27k. We deserve to win that one for sure. Bunch of GGs in the chat. Nice to see that we had a pretty respectful team on both sides there. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you want to see me do next by leaving a comment down below. Leave a like if you did enjoy. I'll see you all very, very soon. And as always, stay frosty.